What's good out there everyone, it's Roll Easy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be going over the solo money glitch, alright? This is a very new method, well, it came out last night or around yesterday, but yeah, new method from the one that I actually posted yesterday. So if you guys aren't familiar with that solo money glitch, I will leave a link for that down in the description. So that's the video I posted yesterday. It's the same glitch as the one I'm doing here, but this is a brand new method and there are a few different requirements. I think this is the better method, but it obviously depends on what you have and if you have the necessary things to actually do this glitch. So keep in mind that you wanna make sure you have everything before you actually just jump in and try to get into this, all right? So what you're gonna need for this is you need to be in an invite only session and a free aim, all right? We recommend free aim and that's for xbox one and ps4 okay both consoles definitely want to be in an invite only free aim session so you also need the moc with the personal vehicle storage you want to have a retro custom or whatever benny's vehicle you're duping inside of your moc you also need the facility throw a bunch of rh8s in there if you can and a ceo buzzer definitely helps for this glitch especially and once again a lot of beer and if you actually want to pull up your phone and look at the map and stuff you do need an orbital cannon in your facility so that's something else that you do need as well but uh yeah without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get started now this is me inside of my facility and i'm gonna show you how i have the facility set up so in here i just ordered a few lg rh8s that's why they're actually kind of invisible there but you want to make sure that you have a bunch in here because these are going to be the the rh8s that we're going to be duping over okay so how, however many you have in here that's how many you're going to be able to dupe so might as well just fill it all up all right so apart from that, right now, we're going to go ahead and switch over. That's how the facility is set up. Now, I'm going over to my MOC that's inside the bunker. As you can see right here, I have my retro custom inside of the facility or inside of the MOC, sorry. And I'm just going to drive it out so that I'm parked inside of that bunker parking spot. And you do not need custom plates, all right? I don't know if I said that in the beginning, but you don't need any custom plates to do this dupe glitch. Once you have the car in that spot, go ahead and walk outside on foot. All right, and we're actually gonna go ahead and get get into like the God mode uh, kind of part. So like I said before, we're not using the 10 car garage over at, you know, in the city or anything or the TV. We're using the heist room over there in the facility. So once you have parked your car, and this is the beginning of the glitch, all right? We're not, pre we're not prepping anymore, this is it. So once you've parked your car inside of that spot in the bunker, you wanna go ahead and sign in as a CEO if you're not already and call out your buzzard. You don't wanna be calling out personal vehicles or else that car will despawn. Okay, now we are landing over here at the facility. We're going in there and this is where we're gonna to proceed to do this step at the heist room to go into the, uh, I, th I believe it's God mode. We get the same effect as before. I didn't actually check, but it seems like it is the same exact thing as before. Just a new method on how to actually do it now. And it's really not luck based at all. You know, you can do this, it's all technique based. So we're gonna go in here into the heist room and I'm gonna wait for the screen to load up and once you get the option to press the right D-pad, you wanna go ahead and do that. So as you can see right here, I got the option. I'm gonna press right D-pad and I'm gonna hover over one of these setup missions. You see how I get the launch mission option at the bottom right? That's what you want, okay? If you have that, go ahead and I'm gonna go in slow motion right now. You need a friend in a different targeting mode. That's why I said to be in a free aim session. So join somebody that's in assisted aim. Uh, you don't even have to know that they, or they don't have to know that you are joining them at all, all right? So I know that I got a couple people here that are in assisted aim, I'm in free aim, so that I can get that targeting mode alert. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and join my friend, okay? And right when I join him, I'm going to start counting once I get back and it starts loading session details. About three seconds into that, you want to go ahead and select one of these. So you see that? Lo loading session details. I'm counting one, two, three. I'm going to launch up that job and then I should get the alert. Accept the first alert, decline the second alert. Boom. If you're frozen at this stage, you did it perfectly right. If you got kicked off of the screen, then you want to go ahead and try again. Open up your interaction menu, go over to facility management, press up on the D-pad once, go to heist planning screen, and just flip it on, or off, sorry. Flip it off, hold down on the D-pad, select a story mode character, and then deny the alert. All right, once you've done that, you should be kicked off the screen, you're good to go. Open up your interaction menu again, and turn on that heist planning screen one more time. So now that it's back on, wait for it to load up, now that it's loaded up, you want to just simply press left on the D-pad. You're not going to see an option to press it. You're not going to, and nothing's going to happen. Just make sure you're in there on the floor and press left on the D-pad. Run outside, go over to your orbital cannon, and you're not going to get the option here either, but just go right here in this general area and press right D-pad and the animation will start. Okay? Now, you should have no mini-map, things like that. That's how you know that this is kind of like that god mode thing, all right? No mini-map whatsoever. 
Once you load into the orbital cannon, you can then go ahead and back out. And once we're back, it's gonna take a couple seconds for you to appear again. You will be invisible here. There we go, I'm back. And the whole reason for that is to be able to pull up our phones, all right? As many of you know with this God Mode type glitch, when you are in this state, you cannot pull up your, or you can't bring up your pause menu. So the way that to do it is with your phone and the internet. And we'll show you that in a, here in a little bit. But run over to your assistant here and go over to the snacks and you wanna fill up on piss wassers, all right? Fill up completely on beers. Now, once you're filled up, you wanna go ahead and run over to the RH8s that I said you want parked inside of your facility and go ahead and hop into one. Wait for the car to start and then just drive out. Hit the gas and drive out. Now quickly open up your interaction menu, go to inventory, go to snacks, and start drinking piss wassers, all right? Now, I said do it quickly because I had one instance where it literally wouldn't let me drink for some reason, and I think it's because I waited too long. If you guys don't know how to drink beers fully, remember, you tap on A or X once, and then you press it again and hold until they're done with that beer, all right? It's about four or five swigs per beer, and you want him to drink, him or her, to drink the beers fully, all right? You want to get plastered. And once you're drinking the ninth beer, two sips in, and that's when you will pass out. Just make sure you're doing it that way. Remember, so press X or A once, then press it again and hold, all right, during the whole time while he's drinking. So this is the last beer right here, two sips in. You should pass out, and the, everything in the facility is actually, like, you know, blinking. It's going crazy. That's all good. Now we should spawn over at one of the hospitals. So with this glitch, there's a few different places you could spawn. Well, just a couple of different places, really. You're either gonna spawn over in this part of Blaine County, kind of in the center of the map at this hospital, or you can spawn at Polito Bay. That really is another one. So at this point, you can go ahead and call up a buzzard. Remember, still no personal vehicles whatsoever. Don't call out any. Get your buzzard out, open up your phone and open up the internet. And once you're on the internet, you can then press pause. Then go ahead and find the nearest, uh, the nearest, you know, little 7-Eleven place around here. And you want to fill up on beers. Basically with this glitch, the way it works is whenever you get drunk and you pass out and you end up at the hospital, one of the first things you should think about doing is refilling up again because you're going to need it. So go ahead and go into the here and just fill up on piss washers. For those of you that say there's no store clerk in there, that's happened to me before, but I just waited a few seconds and then it loaded up. All right. But anyways, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and just take your buzzard and fly back over to your bunker. And that's where you saw the animation there. So I'll be entering the bunker here momentarily and your car should still be there. But I know some people were actually telling me on my last video, the car is not there after doing the glitch and I didn't call out a personal vehicle. Uh, that actually happened to me today, so I know what you're talking about, all right? So I don't know how to fix that. I just restarted the glitch and did it again, okay, if that's happening to you. Go ahead and get in the car, and you should see the plate change if you did everything correctly. As you can see, for some reason, I got a blank plate, and I used an RH8. That used to happen to us with the BMX bikes. But either way, the car did dupe. If you go over to the MOC and press right D-pad, you should get a full alert. That means right there for sure. That's the proof also that, that you're in a duped car. Because if you weren't in a duped car, you'd be able to drive that right back into its spot in the MOC. So the MOC is fully saved right now. Or sorry, the car is fully saved in the MOC. Now to rinse and repeat, it is very, very simple. And we'll go through it right here very, very quickly. You only had to do that heist part once over there, right at the facility to get glitched out. You're good to go. Now we can just rinse and repeat and do more dupes or get more dupes, I should say. So leave this dupe right here in the parking spot in the bunker and you actually wanna go ahead and go to your snacks and get drunk once again. So remember, tap once, then hit it, then press it again and hold it and that's X or A. And you wanna hold that the entirety of the time you're drinking the beer until you fully pass out about nine beers in. So while we are just waiting over here, yeah, I'm gonna skip forward a little bit. There we go, I passed out. Now we should be spawning over at one of the hospitals. And you're gonna see right here, oh actually, okay, so I did spawn at the normal Blaine County one, but call up your buzzard and you wanna go straight to your facility this time. You don't have to go straight to a store because go to your facility and just fill up right here on beers. We have to come here anyways. So go straight to your facility with your buzzard. Like always, no, don't call out any personal vehicles and you wanna go ahead and fill up on beers and then run over to one of the RH8s here that you wanna dupe again. So I'm gonna grab this one and I'm gonna just go ahead and hit the gas once I've started the car, it should disappear. Quickly open up the interaction menu, go to inventory, snacks, and piss washers, and get drunk again. All right, I'm not gonna show you all that again, so let's just skip forward. There we go, I have passed out. So once again, a lot of drinking in this glitch. <laughs> no, I don't mind, all right? Drinking in a dupe glitch is always something fun and new to do. But yeah, we should be passing out here, and you're gonna see what I mean. So you saw I was at the facility there. Look where I spawned this time after I passed out. I do believe I spawned over in Polito Bay, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I do, you see that? So sometimes you'll be in Polito, sometimes not. 
But yeah, if you do spawn over there in Polito Bay, there is a store pretty close by as well. I'm gonna go ahead and call out my buzzard. And I do know the exact location actually where the store is. So I'm just gonna skip forward to that point. Uh, the store is just a little bit down the highway. Once you're, uh, if you're in Polito Bay, it's over on the right. So I guess that would be east. Yeah, so go over east and you should find the store. Fill up on piss washers once again and get back into your buzzard and now you want to head over to the bunker. So as you can see right here, rinsing and repeating is a lot easier and quicker. Yeah, a little bit of flying, but it's really not a big deal. It's definitely quicker than the method that I posted yesterday. So uh, yeah, we should be spawning into the bunker here, not calling out any personal vehicles on the way here because we want this retro to stay in that spot. And uh, there it is. And this time I'm actually gonna get a fresh generic plate. All right, the other one was clean too, but look, so from a blank plate, look, I'm gonna get a generic. Look at that, you see that? So. For some reason, maybe that spot or that RH8 was glitched because I put BMXs in there, you know, back in the day. I don't know. But anyways, once you have the fresh plate on your dupe, you're going to go ahead and drive it into the MOC and you're going to save it. And just like that, that's how it goes. So to rinse and repeat, just go back like two or three minutes into the video, man. And that's how you rinse and repeat. That whole heist uh, God mode targeting mode thing only has to be done once. You can spend the rest of the time in an invite only session by yourself duping pretty simply, okay? But uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for me, all right? Shout out to all the founders. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace.